Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm Jeanette with Vivo Vintage Designs. Today I'm going to be painting a very small um, sunflower using Winsor & Newton Professional Watercolors and Arches Paper. So I've gone ahead and sketched out an outline using pencil and I've left my lines a little darker so that hopefully you can see them. And um, I created a sunflower yesterday and everyone was very interested in how I created the details of the center. So I'm going to show you how I did that. First thing I want to do is I want to um, create the background. So I am going to put down a little water and I'm using a small brush because I want to make sure I get sharp edges and then I'll fill in the rest with a larger brush. And that's just a matter of preference. You can use, if you're comfortable using a larger brush, go right ahead. So I'm gonna try and keep this as simple as possible so that it's not a very long video. And I'll be using a blow dryer in between to dry my paper. And um, let me remind you that all the products I use will be listed in the description box below along with the link. So please do take a look if you have any questions about um, any of the products you see me using here. And if you have any questions regarding the techniques you see me use, just drop them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, so now that I've wet my background, I'm using a combination of uh, yellow gold, olive green, sap green, hooker's green, and I'm not even sure how to pronounce this, perline green. And I'm just going to drop some color in my background here. in no particular order. I just want a nice green background. And a little yellow in there. use a darker green for a little bit more drama. I think the darker green will look nice against the yellow. So I'm just going to put that down here and there. Just gonna move the color around a little bit so it doesn't look so um, placed. The paper dried down here, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more water.
pick up some of this green it's a little bit much and I did not stretch my paper so I already see that it's buckling a little bit so Okay, let me dry this and I'll be right back. Okay, the green is dry and now I'm going to put down a light wash of yellow and I'm using lemon yellow deep and cadmium yellow, a mix of the two. And I'm going to make sure that this is nice and light. I'll clean off my brush a little bit. I'm just going to put that down on all the petals to start with. And this brush that I'm using is an Aqua Princeton Aqua Elite Oval Wash Brush, also known as a Pointed Filbert, and it's one of my favorite brushes to use. The Aqua Elite brushes are great. They hold a lot of water, and um, you can paint for a while without having to reload. Okay, so I've got my coat of yellow down. And I'm just going to re-wet it, make sure it's nice and wet so I can drop some more color into it. <clears throat> so now I want to deepen the center of these petals. So I'm going to pick up a combination of I have burnt umber, raw umber, and sepia. So I'm just picking up a light coat of it and I'm just going to drop it down here in the center. I'm going to bring up some of that color. We'll add more detail later. Right now, I just want to get these lines in. Not being too careful, as you can see, I'm just dropping the color in. Let it do its thing, and then I'll dry it. OK, 
Okay, so this is still a little damp. And that's the way I want it. I am going to pick up a combination of cadmium yellow and cadmium orange. To add a little detail to my petals. And I'm going to keep it kind of wet. Now I'm just picking up a little bit of the um, yellow deep and I'm going to kind of outline these petals with that color. Add a little bit more color into the petals here and there. I'm just going to turn my paper to add a little depth to the points. Bring some of that color down. And now I'm just picking up different values or different um, colors of the paint here. really like that orange a lot. So I'm going to try and get some more of that on here. While it's still wet, I'll add it to the base of the um, leaves.
Okay, I'm going back into, while this is all wet down there, I'm going back into the dark brown. I'm going to add a little burnt umber in there to redden up that brown a little bit. And I'm going to add just a little detail just to darken up that area a little bit more. And I'll bring up some of those lines. And when I paint, I do have to turn my paper. I don't know. I don't understand why people make such a big deal about it, but it works for me. I'm going to really water this mixture down and I'm going to come from my tips and just add a little bit of depth into them by adding a little bit of the darker color. Let me add a little bit of this over here. And let me give this a quick dry. Okay, so that's pretty dry. And what I'm going to do now is I want to define my petals by adding a little bit of shadow. So I'm going to use um, a little sepia, but I'm going to water it down a lot. And I'm going to add a little Payne's Gray to that, but I want it really, really watery. And what I'm going to do is add a little outline to the petals that are lying underneath. You can see this is really light, but we'll get more detail out of that in just a little bit.
Now I'm going to add a little bit of this to the bottom. And now I'm just going to add a little bit more pigment to this mix that I created. And using the very tip of my brush, I am going to just darken up this area around the edge of each petal. going to rinse off my brush, get it kind of dry, and then just blend in that little shadow that we added. Well, this is all still a little damp. So you can see how that defines your petals a little bit more. And I'm not going for a realistic painting here. I'm adding a little bit of darker brown to further separate the petals. But only at the base. And you can see already I've separated the petals. Okay, let me give this a quick dry. Okay, I gave it a quick dry, and now what I would like to do is to brighten up some of these petals. So I've mixed a little of the yellow, um, lemon yellow, deep, and I'm just going to put in some 
brighter colors in here. but I'm not going to cover up everything. I'm just going to pull some of that up, leave some lighter areas as highlights. So I'm going to start at the base and put in some sketchy lines just to brighten it up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to dry that real quick and then we'll work on the center. I'm pretty satisfied with the way those petals look. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've gotten the petals dry and now I'm going to work on my center. And I've created kind of like a guideline here so I know where I want to apply my color. And I'm going to wet down this area here where the center is. Making sure I get a nice coat of water on there because I'm going to be dropping in some color and I want it to spread nicely. So make sure your paper is not sopping wet but that you have a nice sheen on the paper. And I'm coming right up to that edge. Okay, so I'm going to mix a combination of burnt umber, oops, let me find another well, burnt umber and um, brown matter because brown matter has this red in it that I like. So I'm going to mix a combination of those two colors and I'm going to drop that in this area here. I'll bring it down a little bit into the center. And then as I get to the center, I'm going to, I'm not even going to clean my brush. I'm just going to pick up this darker color. that I used for the shadow and I'm going to drop it right in the center. I'm just going to darken it up a little bit. of that up because I don't want it to be a harsh line between the two colors. But I want it darkest in the center. And then I'm going to show you how I created the center of the sunflower. It's so easy. I'll clean my brush. Let me give this a quick dry. Okay, so my flower is dry and now I'm going to create the center. 
And the way I create the center, which is really easy, is using the very tip of this brush. And again, this is a half inch Oval Wash Princeton Aqua Elite brush. I also have another one somewhere. I'm not sure where it is right now, but it was inexpensive and I purchased it. It's by Artists Loft. And I just love the shape of these brushes. It lets you create some really great stuff. So now to create the center of the flower, I'm going to use a combination, just the paint that I have already on my palette. And I'm just going to make it a little bit thicker by adding a little sepia. So I have a heavier um, consistency of paint on my brush. And then I'm just going to start making these lines. And you can see as I tap the brush onto the paper, it creates a V. And that's how I created the center of the flower and it makes it really easy. And once it's dry, it looks like you added so much detail. I'll come back and add a little bit more detail around the outside. But for now, I just want to get these V's in here. And now as I get towards the center, I want to leave a little bit of this open because I want a little bit of highlight in there. So I'm just going to get darker in this area here with a thicker consistency on my brush. And then just do fewer in this area here because I want this to remain a little light. But I'm still using the heavier consistency of paint. And around the outside of the center, I want to keep it a little bit darker also. So it makes it look rounded. Then I'm going to make it even thicker, the consistency of the paint, and add a few of these heavier pigmented lines here and there.
going to darken up in the center a little bit more. And now to finish this off, I am going to switch to my Aqua Elite Princeton size 6 brush and I'm going to build a really heavy consistency of the um, sepia and I'm going to throw in a little bit of the Payne's Gray in there. I want this really dark and I'm just going to add A little bit of detail around the outside of the flower. I'm just kind of wiggling my brush. Getting a few little lines. I might even define the base of these petals a little bit more by making a darker line at the bottom, but not bringing it all the way up. You can see the little V's that the paintbrush made. Some of them I'm just going to darken. And there you have it. I'll bring it closer to you so you can get a better look at the detail you get using that brush. It makes creating this center so much easier than I expected. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your interaction with my channel is very helpful and greatly appreciated. All right, everyone. Enjoy your Mother's Day.